Cox model engines are used to power small model airplanes, model cars and model boats. They were in production for more than 50 years between 1945 and 2006. The business is named for founder Leroy Roy M. Cox. He started L.M. Cox Manufacturing Co., Inc., which later became Cox Hobbies Inc., then Cox Products, before being sold to Estes Industries, when it became Cox Models. On February 7, 2009, Estes Industries stopped producing Cox engines and sold all of their remaining inventory mainly spare parts, to several private buyers from Canada and the U.S. One of the new owners of the remaining Cox engine and parts inventory has launched a website with an online store. Millions of engines were produced. They became the most common one-half a class 0.049 cubic inch engine in the world, and probably still are today. Although the production of the engines ceased some years ago, engines made as far back as the 1950s are still sold as new and are in abundance on eBay worldwide. Topic. Cox history The Cox range of model engines were the brainchild of entrepreneur Leroy Roy M. Cox. Cox Manufacturing started out in Cox's garage in 1945 where he made wooden pop guns for kids and employed local housewives to assemble them. Metal was scarce due to the war which is why the toys were made of wood. In 1946 metal became readily available again and competitors quickly moved into the market, making their metal pop guns cheaper, so Cox moved to something else, making metal tether cars for kids. In August 1946 a fire in Cox's garage forced him to move to newer and larger premises at 730 Poinsettia Avenue, Santa Ana, California. In 1947 Cox developed a racing car which used an engine manufactured by Cameron Brothers. The cars sold for $19.95 and generated $200,000 in sales in their first year of production. In 1949 Cox developed their own engine for their racing tether car which included some parts from Mel Anderson's Spitzy engine. This engine was called the O45 as it was 0.045 cubic inch displacement. In 1950 with sales of the car proving to be a success Cox moved on to development of a model plane engine. Cox felt the need for dependable, easy-to-start engines and spent eight months of 1950 in research. His three-man engineering crew himself, Mark Meyer and Bill Fogler spent seven days a week, day and night, developing the .049 Space Bug contest engine. The end result was the Space Bug .049 contest engine, Cox's first model plane engine which was completed in October 1951. In 1952 the first name change was made to L.M. Cox Manufacturing Company Inc. The Space Bug engine set the scene for all the Cox engines that followed, and went into full production in 1952. This engine was so popular that it caused problems for other model engine manufacturers. In 1953 Cox produced their first ready-to-fly airplane, the TD-1, which was powered by the Space Bug engine. In 1953 L.M. Cox Manufacturing was sued by Jim Walker American Junior Aircraft Co. for copyright infringement because Cox was using Walker's patented bell crank system in the TD-1 and because Walker believed the Cox Skylon reel was a copy of his u really control handle. The court case lasted for three years. In 1955 Cox won the court case against Walker. Walker's patent on the bell crank control system was ruled void and invalid because it was determined that the system had been designed before Walker's patent and by someone else, a man named Oba St. Clair, who was the first man to fly a control line airplane in the U.S. back in 1937 and the design was published in 1938. 
St. Clair had shown his design to Walker, who took it upon himself to patent the design. The court also ruled that the Cox reel was not a copyright infringement. In 1956 Cox developed the Bay B049, designed by William Bill Selzer, which had an extruded aluminum crankcase, not cast like the others. This engine sold for just $3.95 and was the final nail in the coffin of many competitors whose engines were selling for substantially more. The Babe B was a high-quality high-precision engine which started easily and was very reliable, unlike some of the competition. In 1957 Cox took over the Flying Circle at Disneyland, which was a major coup for the company. The model planes were flown each day in front of tens of thousands of people and they had a hobby shop right there full of Cox RTF planes. The Cox Flying Circle remained in operation until 1965 when it was closed to make way for expansion of Tomorrowland. In 1960 Cox hired an engineer named Bill Atwood who had already built his own line of engines, to develop a new .010 cubic inch engine. Atwood was also responsible for the TD and Medallion line of engines. These engines put Cox on the map as a leading engine in the world for many years to come. In 1963, due to continuing growth, the company moved to larger 225,000 square feet facilities which were three times larger than the old site. Shortly thereafter Cox got into slot cars and focused attention on gearing up for this fad. In 1965 Cox International was established in Hong Kong to meet the demands of the slot car craze. In 1967 the slot car fad ended, leaving Cox with excess stock that couldn't be sold, resulting in cash flow problems. In 1969 Cox's wife Myrtle died and he had health problems of his own, so he retired and sold the company to Leisure Dynamics Inc. Leisure Dynamics continued to expand the range of Cox model aircraft as well as adding trains, boats, rockets, kites and radio control, boosting sales to $25 million per year. Cox retired with the distinction of being the world's most successful model engine manufacturer. In 1970 William H. Selzer was appointed as president of L.M. Cox Manufacturing Inc. a subsidiary of Leisure Dynamics. In 1971 Leisure Dynamics broke the company in two, moved the model production to Minnesota, and left the engine production in Santa Ana, California. In 1976 Leisure Dynamics changed the company name to Cox Hobbies Inc. In 1980 Leisure Dynamics filed for bankruptcy, taking Cox Hobbies Inc. with them. In 1981 Leroy Cox died on September 22, at age 75. In 1983 former Cox engineer and president Bill Selzer, whom Cox had hired in 1952, purchased the company out of bankruptcy. All manufacturing was returned to Santa Ana. The company once again flourished into the 1990s, with new products being added and another move to even bigger facilities. In 1990 Cox Hobbies moved to new facilities at Corona, California. In 1993 the company name was changed again to Cox Products. The Pee Wee, Babe B, and PT-19 trainer were still in production. In 1995 Cox celebrated 50 years and introduced some new engines and RTF models. In 1996 Cox was sold to Estes Industries, Centuri Corp., and moved to Penrose, Colorado. Things changed considerably from then. Cox, as the hobbyists of the world knew it, was gone. The high reputation Cox engines had declined. One by one each product item was withdrawn from sale as stock ran out. Parts from different engines were mixed and matched, making hybrid engines that performed very poorly compared to the Cox engines from previous years. Estes added new products to the Cox line using the Cox name, but these were electric radio control models. 
Some of these were known to explode, resulting in a massive product recall by the company. In 2005 an online company calling themselves Cox Hobby Distributors owned by Estes Industries appeared selling RC and electric products and some of the classic engines and RTF models. However, as each item from the classic era sold out it wasn't replaced. In February 2009, Estes Industries sold all of their remaining classic Cox stock to several private buyers, one of them being a small company from Canada. In June 2009 they launched a website to sell their remaining stock online and also via eBay. In January 2010 Estes Cox Corporation was purchased by Habico, based in Champaign, Illinois. In 2011 Cox International continued to revive the classic Cox brand as well as introducing new engine versions, spare parts and accessories. Topic: The engines. The Cox .049 engine is a two-stroke internal combustion glow plug engine. These engines use a glow plug to heat the fuel – air within the cylinder to start. Once running it is disconnected and operates in the same manner as a diesel engine. The self-ignition is due to the heat produced from the compression of the air-fuel mix, and the catalytic reaction of the platinum element in the glow plug and the methanol in the fuel and does not depend in any way upon the continued use of the battery. Fuel intake to the engine is controlled by a simple needle valve and venturi system. Fuel-air mixture intake to the crankcase is controlled via a reed valve or rotary valve depending on the engine design. In a reed valve engine the valve is drawn open by suction as the piston moves upward on the compression stroke. As the piston moves down on the power stoke, the pressure in the crankcase causes the reed valve to close. The fuel-air mixture in the crankcase is then forced past the piston via the transfer – bypass ports in the cylinder. One characteristic of a reed valve is that the engine will run in either direction, an advantage for a «pusher» model but a disadvantage if the engine is finger-started, as it may start in the wrong direction. The Cox engines employed a starting spring which kept fingers free of the propeller and generally ensured correct rotational direction. On rotary valve engines the process is similar except instead of a reed, a rotary valve is used incorporated in the crankshaft, which opens and closes as the piston moves up and down. The rotary valve is more efficient and adjustable at design time as there is a larger and clearer path to the crankcase than in the reed valve setup, but such engines can run in only one direction. Pusher configurations require a special propeller, sometimes difficult to find. The fuel used to power the engine is called model engine fuel, a mixture of methanol 70% to 40%, castor oil 20%, and nitromethane 10% to 40%. The Cox line of reed valve engines designed prior to 1960 used a rear reed valve induction system. In the late 1950s they played around with rear rotary valve induction as used in the RR1 before moving forward with front rotary valve induction for their TD and medallion lines. Topic: <laughs> Early engines. 1949-045 Power Pock Special Racer Car Engine Hash PP-45 Manufactured 1949 This engine was the first designed by Cox but included some major parts i.e. piston and cylinder of the Spitze.045 engine designed by Mel Anderson. It employed a twin reed valve which was later used for the Space Bug. The engine was a major engineering achievement for its time, by incorporating reduction gears, fuel tank, flywheel and muffler all into one power pock. The air intake was via one of the axles. 1949-060 Power Pock Special Racer Car Engine Hash 
manufactured 1949 when slightly more power was needed for the Thimble Drome special car to obtain more speed, a slightly larger version of the .045 was ordered with a bigger bore making the displacement .060 cubic inches. 1952 Space Bug Cat No. 349 manufactured 1952–1958 The Space Bug was the first engine built entirely by Cox. It was designed for control line flying use only and was marketed as a competition engine and sold for $6.95. Back then there was no market for radio control and free flight hadn't been considered by Cox at this time. The piston and cylinder were made from mild steel bar stock and the crankcase and fuel tank were cast aluminum. 1953 Thermal Hopper Cat No. 360 manufactured 1953-1958 The Thermal Hopper is basically a space bug without the fuel tank. It has a needle valve and venturi mounted on an aluminum plate instead. These were designed for free flight and could also be used for control line flying. It allowed the user to put a fuel tank of their choosing on. The engine output was recorded at 0.066 bhp at 17,000 revolutions per minute with a torque of 4.5 oz.in at 10,000 revolutions per minute. 1953 Space Bug JNR Cat No. 370 manufactured 1953-1958 The Space Bug Jr. is a space bug with a smaller plastic tank. This cheaper version also only had one intake bypass port and sold for $3.95. 1955 Strato Bug Cat No. 380 manufactured 1955 basically the same engine as a space bug but included a two-piece fuel tank which was cheaper to make than the original space bug tank. The tank itself is turned aluminium while the tank back is red, yellow or blue plastic from the Space Bug Jr. but is modified to include an aluminium pickup tube and a larger hole to expose the venturi that is integral to the aluminium tank. The later Babe B tank was simply a further developed version of this tank. This engine was only produced during 1955 and sold as a mid-range sport engine for $5.95. As such not many exist today which makes them very rare and collectible selling for over $300 US in 2008 and $1,000 plus in 2012. Beware of fakes. Some unscrupulous sellers have been selling fake Strato bugs that have a CNC machined tank and a Space Bug Jr. back plate. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Standard Bs. 1956 Bay B049 Cat number no. 350 manufactured November 1956 to January 1996 The classic Bay B was the first engine Cox produced with an extruded machined anodized bar stock aluminum crankcase This crankcase was machine made and was much cheaper and faster to make than the cast aluminum crankcase of the earlier models this engine was also supplied in thousands of RTF ready to fly airplanes sold in department stores worldwide. It has an integrated 5cc fuel tank. Max output power was recorded around 0.057 bhp, 42 watts at 13,500 revolutions per minute on 15% nitro. 1957 Pee Wee.020 Cat No. 100 manufactured February 1957 to January 1996 buoyed with excitement from the Babe B049, Cox wanted to make a half-size version of the Babe B. It was a Pee Wee.020, just like a Babe B but half the size. 1958 Golden Bee Cat No. 120 Manufactured October 1957 to January 1980 The Golden Bee is a baby bee that has a larger, 8cc, stunt-vented fuel tank and has been anodized gold. 
The larger tank allowed the planes to fly longer while the stunt vents allowed the airplanes to fly inverted without fuel running out or the engine cutting out. The first versions of the Golden Bee had a single bypass intake port but later versions had two bypass ports making them slightly more powerful. 1966 QZ Cat No. 450 manufactured 1966-1996 QZ stands for Quiet Zone. It is a Bay B with a muffler, twin bypass port cylinder with no sub-piston induction and a high compression hash glow head. An attempt to regain the power loss caused by the muffler. Very similar to the later QRC engine which reportedly worked better. Cox also sold the muffler, cylinder and high comp, glow head components of the QZ as a muffler conversion kit cat number 495 for $2.98. 1976 QRC Cat Hash 450 to 1 manufactured 1976 to 1996. The QRC was a modified Bay B engine that had a muffler and larger 8 cc fuel tank. In the 1970s, noise became an issue, and the Cox engineers discovered that when adding a muffler, the engine would lose significant power. This problem was alleviated by installing a cylinder with no sub-piston induction. The engine was designed for power-launching radio-controlled gliders and had a red tank with a blue spinner. 1976 RCB Cat No. 360 manufactured 1976-1996 This engine was designed for small radio-controlled model planes. It has a plastic clunk tank and an unusual cast crankcase. The Leisure Dynamics team thought that cast crankcases would be cheaper to produce, however they discovered that there were many manufacturing defects and they were difficult to machine, resulting in a high failure rate, so they returned to the tried and proven machined aluminum bar stock crankcase. 1982 Dragon Fly Cat No. 4505 manufactured 1982-1996 This engine was designed for the radio-controlled model planes. It is basically a baby bee with a clunk tank and a muffler throttle. 1989 Texaco Cat No. 4506 manufactured 1989-1996 The engine was designed for the one-half a Texaco RC duration competition. The engine has an additional fin on the larger glow plug which dissipates heat better allowing the engine to swing a larger propeller. I.e. 7 or 8 inches. This engine has a red 8cc fuel tank and a black crankcase. Original 1989 engines did not come out with 5-fin glow plug. The 5-fin glow plug came later in the 1992 catalog. 1995 Texaco JNR Cat No. 4507 manufactured 1995-1996 the same engine as the Texaco above except that it has a smaller 5cc fuel tank which is also red. First appeared in 1995 Cox catalog. Topic. High performance bees 1956 RR1 Cat number 390 manufactured 1956 to 1965 The RR1 uses a rear rotary valve intake rather than a reed valve in an attempt to achieve more power The engine came after the Babe B and looks very similar with its anodized machined extruded aluminum crank case and fuel tank the power improvement was negligible so Cox reverted to the cheaper easier to build Babe B. The engine was made for quite a few years and sold for $6.95. A left and right hand rotary valve was made, as were left hand 6x2 glass filled nylon props for the RR1. Some versions have a blue tank, others have a clear anodized tank. There were two versions of the tank back as well, to fit the corresponding tank. It has become a collector's item due to its uniqueness and pretty colors and is worth around $300 in 2008. 
1959 Space Hopper Cat No. 150 Manufactured November 1958–1961 The Space Hopper was Cox's first attempt at a beam mount high-performance reed valve engine plus the first steps towards their greatest engine, the TD series. The engine was basically like the thermal hopper was to a space bug. That is a Bay B without a tank, but a Venturi and needle valve relying on an external fuel tank. The engine looks similar to the Sportsman engine with a machined aluminium crankcase and rear induction via a reed valve with the needle valve assembly and Venturi similar in appearance to the later TD series. This engine was short-lived and made way for the TD in 1960. Due to their similarities to the TD that followed some of the parts crossed over from this engine to the TD. They look very retro and due to their apparent rareness are worth around $200 US in 2008. 1973 Black Widow Cat No. 150 Manufactured May 1973 to January 1996 During the 70s a couple of Cox engineers were playing around with different colored Babe B and Golden B parts and came up with an all-black engine with a red spinner. They hopped it up a bit with a dual bypass cylinder from a Super B number one, a black Golden B tank and a slightly larger 0.062 Venturi intake. The Black Widow was born. These engines were marketed as a high-powered combat engine. On later Black Widows the red rubber spinner was replaced by a red anodized aluminum TD style spinner. In the late 1990s some Black Widows were produced with the a dual bypass slit exhaust cylinder. The slit exhaust was to prevent fires. According to an aeromodeler engine test done in August 1974 the Black Widow on 25% nitro output power was 0.08 bhp 60 watts at 15,000 revolutions per minute with a max, torque of 6 Oz.in at 9,000 revolutions per minute. 1995 Killer B049 Cat number no. 340 manufactured 1995-1996 The Killer B was an attempt at making a fast reed valve 049 engine from information that had been learned over the years of racing and competition. It had a tapered cylinder with SPI and lighter piston similar to the TD, a stronger balanced crankshaft and a new reed valve shape. They had a yellow plastic needle valve. Later in 2002 Estes produced a Killer B that had none of these features but looked like the original Killer B except for the needle valve. Beware of fakes. Some unscrupulous people are producing fakes and selling them. Check to make sure the engine is the real deal before purchasing. 1996 Killer B051 Cat number no. 360 manufactured 1996 The Killer B051 existed so that modelers could fly the same plane in two competition classes IEA and one a simply by changing the engine This engine has exactly the same performance as the 049 there is a legend that two thin lines or grooves in the piston skirt are for positive identification but this is incorrect. The grooves were intentionally designed to bleed off just enough power so that the 4% increase in displacement does not necessitate trim changes to a free flight model when switching the model from an 049 to the 051 to fly in the higher A class. The benefit of the grooves as a visual identifier was accidental. 1996 Venom Cat number no. 140 manufactured 1996. The Venom was Cox's last attempt at making a really fast 049 mouse racing engine. Again taken from ideas learned from years of competition, this engine put all those ideas into an off-the-shelf product. It used the Killer B crankshaft loosely fitted into the crankcase, and a cylinder with porting very similar TD cylinder and tapered like the TD and with a lightened piston like the TD. The rest of it was like a Black Widow. The problem was that the production engine was not the same as the prototype. A mistake had been made in manufacturing and the piston was lightened too much. 
This made the engine fast but the piston weak and they would blow the top off the piston after a few runs at high speed. As such only 1,000 were made and they never bothered to make any more. Because of that, and all the fakes, they are not worth a lot of money. Beware of fakes. Some unscrupulous people are producing fakes and selling them. Check to make sure the engine is the real deal before purchasing. Topic TD's 1961 TD-049 Cat No. 170 manufactured November 1960 to January 1996 The TD is Cox's most famous engine. This engine was dominant in competition for many years. It was designed by Bill Atwood who had been hired by Cox specifically to produce the TD line of competition engines. The important features of the TD are as follows, tapered cylinder and a lightened and tapered piston result, tighter piston fit at TDC and less piston mass. Two deep bypass ports with two bypass booster grooves, known as side flutes on each bypass port, extending slightly above the main bypass groove result, significantly better air fuel mixture induction, true peripheral venturi result, more efficient fuel intake, fuel draw and induction precision balanced and milled crankshaft result, better fuel intake, better balanced engine. The TD was tested by Aeromodeler magazine in 1962 and the Output power was recorded to be 0 0.105 bhp, 78 watts, at 22,000 revolutions per minute, with a max torque of 5.5 oz. In at 18,000 revolutions per minute on 25% nitro. Note, the modern Norval AIM-049 engine which has an aluminum piston running in a ceramic coated cylinder, outputs 0.14 bhp 100 watts at 20,000 revolutions per minute. In 1973 the bypass porting, crankshaft timing and venturi were modified slightly and a mesh screen was added to the venturi to keep out dirt. This resulted in a minor performance improvement over the earlier versions. 1961 TD-051 Cat No. 200 manufactured October 1961 to January 1996 The 051 was simply a class A version of the engine, physically the same on the outside only the bore was different and the piston had a small groove in the skirt to bleed off just enough power to exactly equal an 049 so no trim changes would be required to free flight models citation required this groove also visually differentiates the 051 from the 049 but this was of secondary importance. The 051 also had a red carb body. 1994 TD.05RC Cat No. 201 manufactured 1994 This engine had a proper RC carby and a full-sized standard muffler and was designed specifically for RC flying. It had no sub-piston induction. Only two production runs of 1,000 each were done so there are only 2,000 of these in existence, making them the second rarest production engine next to the Venom. Note, although the box said TD.05 the engine is actually .051 and .09 RC version also exists Cat No. 211 manufactured 1994 also. 1961 TD.010, .020, .09 and .15 Cox also built TDs in .010 Cat No. 130, .020 Cat No. 160, .09 Cat No. 210 and .15 Cat No. 180 size. All these engines were very successful. The original TD-15 immediately became the engine to use in FAIFF with vastly higher performance than the Olympic, which had supplanted the European diesels used at the time. They proved fragile, particularly the thin wall cylinder, and ball and socket connecting rod, and were replaced by beefed-up versions as noted below. One of the things Cox wanted Atwood to do was make him a .010 engine. Cox had already tried to have the size of the Pee Wee.020 but couldn't get it to run for some reason. 
The suspicion surrounded a problem with the tiny reed valve. Atwood found that the front rotary valve worked well on the .010 size hence the .010 was born. Topic medallions 1961 Medallion 049 Cat No. 240 Manufactured November 1961 to January 1996 Also known as the Poor Man's TD These were similar to the TD in appearance but had cheaper parts on them, making them cheaper to buy. The cylinder was a non-tapered twin bypass with no boost ports like the one used on the Black Widow, the crankshaft was drilled out rather than milled like the TD, and the carb body was a one-piece unit with a conventional needle valve and spray bar. These engines were marketed as a sport, stunt engine as they were much tamer and much less cantankerous than the TD. These are a great reliable easy-to-use little engine even today. They can be purchased for under $20 US in 2008. R, C versions of this engine were also produced with exhaust throttle. IE 1968 CAT-242-1 and the 1988 CAT No. 2501 with muffler, throttle. 1961 Medallion .09 and .15 The Medallion engine was also produced in Cat No. 230 .09 and Cat No. 220 .15 cubic inch size. There were also R, C versions of these i.e. Cat hash 230-1 medallion point zero nine RC and Cat hash 220-1 medallion point one five RC. 1995 Medallion 051 manufactured 1995. This particular .051 came about when a special order for 300 medallions was placed on Cox by the National Free Flight Society in the USA. It was a gentleman's agreement done on a handshake and it nearly didn't happen when Cox was sold to Estes. But the determination of the NFFS resulted in the deal happening, however Estes Cox only came through with 258 engines. The NFFS engraved each engine with a serial number and kept a record of who purchased each engine. These are probably the rarest of all Cox engines due to the small size of the production run. These engines have a unique piston and cylinder setup that occurs on no other Cox engine, before or after. The cylinder has a straight bore 0.41 inches, slit exhaust, no sub-piston induction. Topic product engines These are all variations of the Baby B with different back plates and other parts designed for different RTF aircraft, cars and boats. There were literally hundreds of different models with subtle differences. Listed below are just a few of the more common ones. 1959 Super B Cat Hash 350-1, Babe B with twin bypass cylinder to give more power for the P-40 Warhawk RTF model. Early version had P-40 stamped on the cylinder. It had a standard Babe B tank. 1964 Silver B Cat Hash 350 to 6 similar to the Super B but it had a larger 8cc non-vented fuel tank. It did not have P40 stamped on the cylinder but it did have the twin bypass ports. This engine came with the Spitfire RTF airplane. 1961 Series 190X product engine Cat No. 190X, manufactured 1961-1971, Babe B-type engine with postage stamp, type Delrin backplate and brass needle valve instead of the integral Babe B fuel tank. Various shapes were used depending on the model they were fitted to. Each time they made a modification for a new model that was built a new cat number was produced. E.g. 190-8 Some had dual bypass port cylinders while others had single, it depended on the airplane. E.g. Ju-87D Stuka, P-51 Bendix Racer, P-51 Mustang and Miss America models. 
1972 Series 191X product engine, CAT number 191X, manufactured 1972 to 1975, Babe B type engine with horseshoe type Delrin backplate and brass needle valve. The horseshoe backplate had additional mounting holes drilled in the plate allowed fitting to aftermarket and kit aircraft. Various shapes and colors were produced depending on the model they were fitted to. Some had dual bypass port cylinders while others had single, it depended on the airplane. E.g. Sopwith Camel, Fokker DVII, Mi-109, Super Stunter, PT-19 Trainer and others produced in the mid-1970s. 1976 Series 192X product engine, CAT number 192X, manufactured 1976 to 1978, similar in appearance to the 191 Series engine, produced for the 1977 Wings series of aircraft. IE Hustler, Mantis, F-15 Eagle and F-15 Falcon airplanes. 1963 Series 290, Spook product engine Cat No. 290 came on a blister pack as a 290 replacement engine. Basically a replacement 190 engine. An aluminium back plate was used for the Spook flying wing combat model kit engine 290-1, 2000 SureStart Cat No. 191 another variation of the modern Babe B. These were pretty good because they have a choke tube attached to the gray plastic backplate. The choke tube makes the engine even easier to start. They were fitted to the very last RTFs e.g. PT-19 and Hyper Viper before they went out of production. Topic original equipment manufacturer OEM engines Over the years some Cox model engines were sold to other companies for use in their products and sold under the other companies' names. Examples of these companies were, Tester Corporation, Sanwa and Kyosho of Japan, Johannes Groppner of Germany, Jeraby Industries Trading as Jomac Products, Light Machine Corporation, Kenbright Corp., Australia and Thyssen Haifa in Israel. Of all of the above-mentioned companies, only Thyssen Haifa assembled their own engines called the Banana.049. All the rest used motors manufactured by Cox themselves. The 1989 Cox Banana.049 Cat number 250 engine looked like a standard product engine with plastic backplate. It also had a spring starter and red aluminium spinner, and the fuel intake tube was extended below the plastic backplate. Cox also supplied a specially printed Banana.049 box insert to fit their standard box. Topic other Cox engines Other engines made by Cox are, 1959 Sportsman.15 Cat No. 110 manufactured 1958-1961 Rear reed valve, .15 sized version of the Space Hopper 1959 Olympic.15 Cat No. 140 manufactured 1959-1961 Sportsman with twin ball races, designed for FAI Power FF of Event 1961 Special.15 Cat No. 260 Manufactured 1962-1964 Second version of TD-15 with thicker cylinder and wrist pin Conrad instead of ball socket 1964 Special.15 MKII Cat No. 270 Manufactured 1964-1968 Third version of the TD.15 Single Exhaust Port Schnurl Port Transfer System and Gold Anodized Crankcase 1965 Olympic.15 Drum Valve Prototyped only 50 made by Bill Atwood they were handed out to various people to try out and a such a few still exist today and appear from time to time for sale at swap meets and on eBay. 
1968 Concept 2.35 Front Rotary R. C. Cat No. 2500-1968 Prototyped only, Bill Atwood, pictured in 1969 Dealer Catalog 1968 Concept 2.35 Front Rotary Sport Engine Cat No. 2510-1968 Prototyped only, Bill Atwood, pictured in 1969 Dealer Catalog 1968 Concept Concept 2.40 Front Rotary R. C. Cat No. 2520-1968 Prototyped only, Bill Atwood, pictured in 1969 Dealer Catalog 1968 Concept 2.40 Rear Rotary R. C. Cat No. 2530-1968 Prototyped only, Bill Atwood, pictured in 1969 Dealer Catalog 1976 Cox Conquest.1 5 Cat number 2800 manufactured 1976 to 1978 This engine took over from the TD.15 as the Cox engine for FAI racing combat and free flight for many more years until the Russian AAC engines came along this engine was patterned on the Australian-designed 1973 Taipan 2.5cc twin ball race engine by Gordon Burford the entire top end of the Cox Conquest and the Taipan TBR are interchangeable. The Taipan TBR was based on the Rossi MKII so the top end is also interchangeable with a Rossi MKII. Also came in R.C. version CAT No. 2810. As a result of reorganization within Leisure Dynamics who owned Cox and K&B at the time, production of this engine was handed over to K&B and it became known as the K&B Conquest after 1978. Production continued for a number of years when the engine was sold to MECOA owned by Randy Linsolato where it continued on as the RJL Conquest for some time. 1976 Cox Conquest.40 prototyped only samples do exist and the Conquest.40 was a grown-up version of the Conquest.15 however due to reorganization with Leisure Dynamics who owned Cox and K&B at the time it was decided not to commence production as K&B already had a .40 sized engine in the market. 1987 Queen B.074 RC Cat number 3701 manufactured 1987 rear reed valve RC engine uses a standard glow plug power output is similar to TD.051 came out mid 1987 and is listed in Cox 1987 catalog Topic. Cylinders There was a wide range of cylinders produced with three different wall thicknesses. Most are interchangeable between all engine types which can create problems when buying a used engine. All early cylinders had a thin wall which was later found to need improvement because they bent easily in a crash or when trying to undo with a Cox wrench. Some people refer to these as MK1 cylinders. The next type was thickened at the exhaust ports and are also known by some people as MK2. The third type was thick wall the way down from the cooling fins to the bottom. This one facilitated the exhaust throttle ring and some people refer to this as a MK3 although Cox never referred to them in this way. Note, the chart does not differentiate between specific modifications and changes made over the years as the company changed hands. Referring to the cylinder cross sections above depicts a thin wall TD.049 cylinder with dual booster ports on the bypass port is a late model thick wall cylinder with slit exhaust and a single bypass booster is a black widow number no. 1 cylinder with no bypass booster with a stepped wall is a pre 1955 cylinder used on early space bug space bug junior thermal hopper and strato bug note how the thread diameter for the glow head is much smaller 
No engines produced after 1955 used this cylinder. The most powerful cylinder piston combination without a doubt is the number no. 4 TD049 cylinder. This cylinder has a tapered grind and tapered and lightened piston, so the piston fit gets tighter as the piston reaches top dead center (TDC). The intake or bypass porting is two deep ports with two bypass booster ports on each bypass. This setup causes a swirling of the intake fuel-air mixture which promotes better combustion. The TD cylinder was the basis for the design of the Venom and Killer B cylinders. Notes SPI equals sub-piston induction 1 The Killer B and Venom had a special competition lightweight piston and a heavy-duty crank shaft for speeds above 22k rpm.2 The TD also had a tapered cylinder and the crank was stronger and ported different from the medallion crank. Equals Topic. Pistons Equals. The early engines that were produced before 1957 had a light alloy piston rod which is retained in its socket by a slotted steel retaining cup which in turn is held in place by a steel circlip located in a shallow groove in the interior piston wall. This arrangement known as a three-piece piston was abandoned as of 1957 in favor of a hardened steel rod which was swagged into a bearing cup formed integrally in the piston interior. The advantage of this latter setup was that it simplified assembly and the bearing could be reset to take up play using a suitable reset. Tool to re-swage the cup. The engines that used the early style three-piece piston are any engines produced prior to 1957, i.e. Space Bug, Space Bug JNR, Thermal Hopper, and Strato Bug. Since the Space Bug, Space Bug Jr. and Thermal Hopper were produced up until 1958, you will find versions of these early engines around with the later style pistons and cylinders. The post-1957 piston is coated with copper on the inside and top. This was done to prevent the nitrile hardening process from hardening the ball socket joint area. The outside wall of the piston was then finely machined and polished to produce a chromed appearance. Topic. Piston – Conrad ball socket joint free play Sometimes, especially with engines that have had a lot of use, the piston – Conrad ball socket joint is very loose and will adversely affect performance. A Cox reset tool, available for the point zero one zero o two o o four nine o five one and the 09 series engines, is used to tighten the ball joint back up again. The correct free play is point zero zero one to point zero zero three inches. The .15 engines use a wrist pin so a socket reset tool is not required for these. Topic. Crankshafts On the B engines there were two types of crankshaft produced. And they're interchangeable. All Bs with the exception of the Killer B and Venom had the same crankshaft that was only good for about 20,000 revolutions per minute before the Conrad pin would break off. The Killer Bs and Venom had a heavy-duty balanced and lightened crankshaft that improved performance and could withstand speeds in excess of 22,000 revolutions per minute. A company named Davis Diesel Development in the USA also make a similar crankshaft called a Killer Crank for their diesel conversions. They found under the heavier torque loads caused by running diesel fuel, that the pins would break also, hence they produced their own Killer Crank. The same killer cranks are now being produced again by Cox International. On the TDs and medallions the cranks are also interchangeable but quite different. The TD has a large square hole at the intake end of the crank whereas the medallion has a smaller round hole. The timing is also different. 
On the later TDRC versions, the crankshaft is lightened and strengthened similar to the Killer B crank, i.e. ground away and hole in Conrad pin. Topic: <laughs> Glow heads. Topic: <laughs> Cox glow heads. Five main types of Cox glow heads were produced for the Cox 049. Number 302 pre-1955 standard head, hemispherical shape, low compression, smaller dia, threads, used on Space Bug, Thermal Hopper, Space Bug JNR and Strato Bug only. Hash 302-1 post-1955 standard head, hemispherical shape, low compression, larger dia. Threads, used on all engines produced post-1955 until the number 325 head was produced in 1979. Number 325 standard head, hemispherical shape, low compression, larger dia, threads, used on all post-1956 engines except TDs, QZ, Killer Bs, Venom and Texaco. Replaced 302-1 head in 1979. There are several different exterior appearances to standard glow heads, all noting a slightly different internal shape, compression and glow coil heat. Hash 1702 High Compression Head, Trumpet-shaped, High Compression, Knurled Top 4 Fins on Early, 3 Fins on Later Fastest, 2 Fins on Most Recent, used on TDs, Killer Bees, QZ and Venom. Differences range from four fin heads being high compression dome shaped to high compression trumpet shaped. Number 315 Texaco head, hemispherical shape, low compression five fins, used on Texaco engine only. Supposedly allows greater cooling for engine when swinging larger propellers. There are some minor variations to the above mentioned heads, including different thickness cooling fins and thicker center electrodes on later model OEM glow plugs. However, the internal shape and glow plug filament remained the same. Topic special glow heads Along the way there were also some special heads made, number 302RH 1953 racing head, hemispherical shape, high compression, smaller dia, threads as used on space bug, thermal hopper, space bug JNR and strato bug only. Hash. W element standard head, hemispherical shape, low compression, larger dia, threads. The concept was borrowed from either Atwood or Holland engines and Cox lost the ensuing patent fight therefore the production run was very short due to the legal situation. Number 331 and number 335 special one fin car head. This head was built for the 1992 Cox GTP Nissan, Stalker and Indy car engines. The engine used a purpose-built heat sink assembly with cooling fins cat hash 1972. Topic aftermarket glow head standard glow plug head uses standard conventional glow plug low compression standard performance still produced by MECOAKNB manufacturing high compression head trumpet shaped high compression knurled top Still produced by MECOAKNB Manufacturing. Turbo Glow Plug Head, medium compression, high performance and several heat ranges available makes them very good for RC applications Norval Freedom Glow Plug, high compression, high performance, available from NV Engines Galbraith Head with Nelson Plug Combo, high compression, high performance, most popular for small prop, high RPM applications, gives the engine an immediate performance boost by up to 2,500 revolutions per minute depending on the engine. Cox International Insert Style Glow Head — available in both Standard and Texaco style. Merlin Insert Style with Clamp Ring — very high compression ratio — needs extra head shims, high performance. Reed valves 
There were three main types of reed valve produced. Early engines. Space bug, thermal hopper, strato bug. Circular twin copper reeds. B engines prior to 1989. Star-shaped single beryllium copper reed held in place by a circlip reed retainer. See image on left. Later bees, killer bees, venom post-1989. Oval-shaped stainless steel reed which is held in place by a plastic reed retainer. See image on right. Later variants of the star and oval reeds were made of mylar and Teflon. Some say mylar is the best while others prefer the stainless steel and then others prefer the Teflon. Claims are that mylar and Teflon are lighter and make the engine easier to start and go faster, but they do not last as long as the stainless ones. Topic. Propellers 049 engines run well on a 5x3 to 6x3 prop. A 5.7 x3 APC works well. To get any suitable speed for mouse racing a 4-inch pitch prop is required at high revs but to do this plenty of nitro-methane is also required, for example, a 4.75 x4 prop with 40% nitro. Texaco engines are designed to use bigger props, e.g. 7x4. Topic. Fuel The highest performance is achieved with fuel of 30% or more nitro content. At least 20% oil castor, synthetic, is recommended. Acceptable performance can be had without nitromethane, although the engine will be very sensitive to needle adjustments making it more difficult to operate. With high nitromethane nitro fuel it may be necessary to lower the compression by installing up to six or more additional head gaskets. When using castor oil it is advisable to clean the engine cylinder wall with a Scotch-Brite pad to remove castor oil varnish buildup that will occur, especially after lean running. This buildup of varnish will cause the engine to run inconsistently. To avoid this problem, it is advised to use a synthetic oil or a synthetic and castor oil blend. Synthetic oil contains detergents that will keep the cylinder wall clean, however, these small engines do rely on some castor oil buildup to maintain high compression at higher running temperatures. Using clean fuel and keeping everything clean and free from dust and dirt particles is also very important for consistent running in an engine of such small size as these. Cox fuel formula Topic. Diesel conversion Davis Diesel Development manufactures and sells heavy-duty B-cranks cranks, and diesel conversion heads. These can be purchased direct from their website or from eBay. The DD cranks are similar to the original Cox Killer B-crank. Other conversion heads are made by MECOARJL, and include 0 .049, 0 .074 and 0 .09 engines, these use an O-ring seal rather than a Teflon disc. Topic. Use in radio-controlled models At the time Cox developed the first Cox engines, they were used in control line and free flight model planes as there was no market for throttled radio control engines back then. Radio control, although first developed in the 1890s it was not available for model airplanes until the 1950s and did not become economically viable for small model planes until the mid-1970s and even then was for the modelers who could afford it. It was certainly out of reach of the hands of most children. From the mid-1960s Cox produced throttle control devices for some of their engines, however, these were not as effective as throttles on other brand engines as the Cox throttle worked by restricting exhaust flow. 
Exhaust throttles were produced for most B and all medallion engines but not TD. In 1988, Cox produced an engine with a true throttle able R.C. carburetor and that engine was the Queen B.074. In 1994, Cox produced the TD.05 and .09 both of which had a conventional R.C. carburetor with adjustable airbleed and a full muffler. In 2010, an aftermarket R.C. throttle choke has been developed for the .049 reed valve engines. This throttle is attached to the choke tube on sure start .049 engines and acts as a cold start choke would on regular engines. The throttle was developed by Sarah's Associates and is being marketed through Cox International. Topic: <laughs> Cox Ready to Fly model airplanes. Over the years, as well as producing millions of model engines, Cox also produced a similar number of ready to fly RTF airplanes, as well as boats, cars, helicopters, and trains. The following is a list of the RTF airplanes produced by Cox between 1953 and 1980. Notes Part numbers appear to skip and jump, however cars and boats produced around same times had numbers similar to the airplanes, therefore causing gaps. See. Other Cox toys. Below. Topic. Other Cox toys. Over the years, Cox also produced a range of model cars and boats. The following is a list of cars and boats produced by Cox between 1954 and 1976. Topic. See also Control line model aircraft Cox models Free flight model aircraft Model aircraft